I wanted to create a bead garland and I grabbed some beads that I already had on hand, just some wood ones. Dollar Tree has a huge selection of beads so you could grab a bunch of different ones there. They just don't have the wood kind or the larger kind that I'm looking for. I grabbed a bamboo skewer and I took some of my painter's tape and kind of put it at the top. And then I strung the beads onto the bamboo skewers and then taped it at the other end. This is going to make spray painting these a lot easier. So I did that until I had 50 beads. Next, I'm going to spray paint the beads with the color Little Black Dress by Color Shot. I love this black color and can see myself using it quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do with the beads is I'm gonna spray one area, then I'm gonna try to twist it and kind of move the beads around and spray it again. I have found this is a way better technique than what I used to do, which is just put them in a container and spray them all at once. I had to do it a lot more. Once that dries, then you can kind of flip them over again and do a second coat. I only had to spray these beads twice because I used this technique of putting them onto the skewers. Next, you can take some Dollar Tree twine and you're just going to lace all of your beads on the Dollar Tree twine. Now, I wanted this to connect in the middle, so simply all I'm going to do is tie a knot when I get all the beads on. and you can drape this over your home decor and it just looks so great sitting out. Next, I grabbed a 10 planter from Dollar Tree and I love that they have these little handles. I don't remember them having those before. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna concentrate on spray painting the bottom. I'm gonna come in with Color Shots Color in Marshmallow, which just is a pretty white color. And I'm gonna spray the bottom half. I did two coats on the bottom half, letting each layer dry in between. Next, I'm going to use my twine. I'm going to wrap around those adorable handles. And then I'm gonna wrap the twine going up, hot gluing in the back as I go. You can add in a real plant or you could also do a faux plant. But here's a look at how this adorable planter turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.